Hey everyone, Nathan here from Elegant Themes. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Extra's project post type. So the project post type is meant to be paired with our portfolio page template. So whatever page you create to house your portfolio, you're going to make sure on the back end that in the page attributes meta box, you choose the portfolio page template. Now you're not going to need to add any content to the main content area of that page because everything that you publish under projects post type is going to automatically populate that portfolio page. So let's jump in to talking about the projects post type itself. You'll find it over here in the sidebar under projects. And when you open that up, you're going to see there's all projects, add new project categories and project skills. So project categories and project skills are the post types taxonomies and they're very similar to categories and tags for posts. And up here, all projects, you'll see that this is basically just a uh, post archive, Very, again, very similar to pages and posts. And you can see I have several projects started, but just so you can see what it looks like, I'm gonna go ahead and add a new one. So I've chosen to add a project called Fashion Photography. Over here in project categories, I've already created the fashion category, but if, if I hadn't, I could click add new, or I could go over here to project categories and add new over there. Now down at project skills, I'm going to reuse some tags that I've used on other projects that I've already published. I'm going to use lighting, photo editing, photography, but again, you could add anything you want here, or you could go over to project skills and add several there um, in advance. Now down here, I can choose under project details to add a URL. I can choose to open that in a new window. And I want people to be able to know that that's going to take them to the project. So view the project will remain my URL text project details location. I can choose to have that, uh, the format of the page be sidebar, project details box, below content. I can choose to have no sidebar, the single column, or project details box as sidebar. Or I can enter in a short description here. And finally down at the bottom we have project gallery. So I'm going to go ahead and add the images to my project gallery. These are all various fashion images for this project. I can add gallery here. I can add a autoplay speed here in seconds. And the feature image, I want to make sure I have that. Okay, so looks like I've got all my information filled out and now it's just time for me to publish. On the front end on my portfolio page, I can refresh. See there's a new fashion category here and my new project is listed right here at the top. So we have because we have our gallery, you'll notice that there is a slider here with all my images. And down here we have my project details, categories, skills, and a link to view the project. Now, back in my project, one thing that I didn't do that I could do is instead of having the default sidebar, I could choose to have my project sidebar, which is a bit simpler. Okay, well, that is all for this tutorial. This has been an introduction to the extra projects post type. If you have any questions about what we've gone over in this video, feel free to leave us a comment and we'll make sure that you get a response. If you're interested in learning more about extra or seeing what else it's capable of, you can click the view demo button. If you're interested in seeing more extra tutorials, click the subscribe button and never miss a great post. Thanks for watching.